It may look like these students are doing homework, but the problems being solved in this U of L computer lab aren't in the curriculum. This is what practice looks like for one of the university's programming teams preparing to compete in an international contest in Russia. We're given a set of about a dozen problems and five hours to solve as many of them as we can, as fast as we can. And the team who solves the most and in the shortest time basically wins. It's a battle of strategy, mental endurance and logic. The team spends at least 10 hours a week preparing for the world finals in June. These guys are pretty special. They, uh, they've trained, a uh, number of them have trained for many, many years. And we have to remember that they're doing this all on top of the regular schoolwork and exams and assignments and so on. The students earned their spot at the international competition by winning a regional contest featuring 39 other teams. The pressure at these events is high. Very stressed out. I am uh, when I'm going through. There's a lot of frustration that goes on and shaking the other teammates and getting them to, you know, tell me to be quiet and get off the computer. But uh, it, it's a lot of fun in the end. Each teammate will solve hundreds of questions before they head to Russia. Enjoy the problem solving. Enjoy the challenge of actually solving the problems. Really do enjoy sitting down and trying to figure everything out as quick as possible. The major advantage of this competition is not the competition itself, but the way that your thinking is changed. You may compete, you may not win, but you may earn some experience which helps you in real life situations. This is the second consecutive year the U of L will be represented at the World Finals. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Liz Pittman.